guys, welcome to 10 Reasons Why Show Sports Edition. I'm your host, Nikki Cavasini. Are you passionate about sports? Well, this is the show for you, or maybe not the show for you. I love sports, I've played sports, and I've watched sports, but let's be honest, they're not all created equal. In fact, some are just downright stupid. So today I'm gonna give you my top 10 worst sports in the world, so here it goes. Okay, number one, NASCAR. Seriously, the worst concept ever. Let's drive in a circle over and over and over again. And if we win, we get milk, right? Okay, that makes sense. Who made up that concept? When kids win shit, they get candy. And when we grown-ups win shit, we get money, right? NASCAR winners get milk, not even beer? I just don't get it. Anyway, on to the next one. Okay, my number two, baseball. There are only so many times I can see grown men scratch their nuts Bit and chew tobacco, not to mention stand around, and I mean stand around forever. Meanwhile, I'm supposed to be cheering on these shits with a nasty hot dog in one hand and peanuts and warm beer in the other. Then I have to sit next to the Brady Bunch who couldn't get a babysitter for all eight of their damn kids. Mom, he got more popcorn than me. Dad, she farted. And every five minutes I need to get up so they can go to the bathroom. Uh, no thank you. Next. Okay, my number three, golf. Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. More like, get out of my life forever. It's so boring to watch, I'd rather sit on my TV and watch my couch. All right, my number four, figure skating. Let's face it, like NASCAR, we only watch it to see them fall. I'm like dead serious. Figure skating needs some more good drama. What happened to Tanya Harding and that other chick? You know, you know who I'm talking about? Didn't she like kick her in the knee to get rid of her in the Olympics? I mean, who does that? But anyway, that was good TV. Okay, number six, cricket. Did you hear me? Cricket. Hmm, the name says it all. Listen, it's just not manly. How my gay boys don't even play this shit. I feel like we need a cigar in our mouths talking about what to have our butler make us for supper. Swimming. Number seven. This isn't something you do for a sport. It's something you do to keep yourself from drowning. What's next, people? The professional freaking Heimlich League? Please. And the amount of money I spend on my hair. I'm not about to ruin it with that nasty chlorine. Hashtag chlorine equals green hair. Number eight, boxing. Yeah, I don't think the boxers or even the boxing associations know how many championships they have. Can we stop watching this crap now? I can think of several other mind-numbing things to do than watching two guys dance around, hitting each other with fluffy mittens. But I do enjoy their sexy abs. Okay, number nine. Nine. Basketball. If I want to watch clumsy seven-footers toss around a ball for two hours, I'll go to the circus. At least at a circus. When I see shit, I can smell it too. And anyways, I'm from Cleveland. LeBron, you did us dirty. So now I'm just going to be a hater, especially when all anyone wants to talk about these days is LeBron and Miami Heat. Okay, number 10, American football. On Sundays, I like to go shopping and I get interrupted by this whole thing called football. I don't get it, I don't understand the concept. Bunch of fat meatheads running back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, all over the field. And the small dude, like, yay, yonder over there, black and white pinstripes or whatever, is blowing whistles. Whistles about, I have no idea what the fuck he's talking about. And everyone, and I mean everyone, is drunk and happy even happy when they're losing. I mean, but you people find it entertaining. The only football I'll watch is the Super Bowl. Every halftime is so bad it's amusing. I mean, Justin Timberlake legit flashed us Janet Jackson's boob. It was hilarious. It was awesome. And anyway, the old woman, what's her face, Madonna? Yeah, she was on there and everybody was talking about how great she was. Dude, she's like pushing 60 and she has millions and millions of dollars and she still has a gap in her tooth. You know, this one right here? Anyway, homegirl needs to get over it. It's a wrap, okay? There's my top 10 list of worst sports in the world. Come visit us at www.10reasonswhyshow.com to see our other shows. And remember, don't hate me because I'm red. Or beautiful. <laughs>